What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ngayon, pag-uusapan po natin kung paano nga ba talaga lumakas sa gym. So, if you want to get strong, kung ikaw yung nasa gym na wala ka nga ang katawan pero wala ka pang mabuhat na weight, or if you just wanna get strong for the sake of getting strong, keep watching the video. So, these are the three main things that I think you should focus on if you want to get stronger. And there's a bonus fourth one if you watch till the end. So before anything, there is one term that I want you all to know, which is strength training. Ano nga bang strength training? So sa simple salita, strength training is where your goal in the gym is to get stronger. Secondary na lang yung mas magandang katawan, to become more flexible, to become faster. So the main objective here is to get strong. So you don't have to look like a bodybuilder to lift like one, or you don't need to lift like a powerlifter to look like a bodybuilder. So hindi mo kailangan ng sobrang laking katawan para mag buhat ng sobrang bigat na weight at hindi mo rin kailangan ng napakabigat na weight para magmukha ang malaki. But no doubt, strength training is beneficial for everyone. So bakit ba natin gusto mag-strength train? Most, if not all people that I know who end up strength training, nag-iiba yung vision nila sa pagpunta nila sa gym. Every time they go to the gym, it becomes more of uh, me versus me kahit kami. <laughs> for each workout, the goal is to move bigger weights with better form. Hindi lang yung simpleng pagpawis or para sa pump, you know, or para lang mas maganda ang katawan. Yes, these benefits come along with strength training and they're very good things, but for me and for a lot of other people, they're superficial. Going to the gym will start becoming more about you and your self-improvement rather than others and what other people see. Kahit ang goal mo is mag-lose ng weight or mag-gain ng weight, meron pa rin yung overall goal to get stronger. So, win-win. So number one is compound movements. Ano ba yung compound movements? Squats, deadlifts, overhead presses, rows, pull-ups, dips. Movements that involve more than one joint flexing and extending. These are exercises that involve kinesthetic awareness or how you move your body through space. If your goal is to gain strength, 80 to 90% of your workouts should consist of big compound movements. The first few years of your training life in the gym will be the time that you can make the most amount of muscle and the most strength gains in your life. So take advantage of it. If you're just starting out in the gym, make sure you're hitting those big compound movements. But guys, please, watch your show. <laughs> Kasi wala talagang magpakailam ng binubuhat mo sa gym. Unless you're lifting with really bad form, with weights that are way over your tolerance. So number two, progressive overload. So sabi nga nila, progressive overload is king. So if your program doesn't already incorporate progressive overload, change your program. So progressive overload, as the name suggests, is progressively overloading. Well, overload doesn't always mean in terms of weight. It can also mean in terms of the reps, more reps, in terms of shorter rest times, in terms of tempo, so faster reps. So many other ways to overload the movement. The important thing is there is always overload. In the very beginning, you want to add weight. Weight should be the focus, the weight on the bar. So just add the weight. Make sure you're adding weight strategically, whatever the program calls for, kung ilang pounds ang iladagdag ng recession, just make sure that you're adding the weight. While you're adding the weight, make sure that your form is improving. If not improving, at least you're maintaining the form. So, hindi progressive cheating, it's called progressive overload. So, you don't want to add more weight on the bar, but you're squatting half as deep naman as you did the last time. So, progressive cheating ngayon, guys. So, in the very beginning, syempre linear pa rin yung progress nyo. So, you're gonna be able to add weight every session, but this is gonna get harder. As you go. So, dito na papasok yung more reps, more sets, shorter rest time. Most of it is really just trial and error at this point. So, be strategic with your workouts. You always want to move with intent. You always want to go in the gym with a plan. So, drill down your technique as you incrementally add weight on the bar and watch that weight on the bar double in no time. Your body is much stronger than you think it is. So, yung pangatlo is time, recovery, and the caloric surplus. In other words, yung mga ginagawa natin sa labas ng gym. Ito yung mga madalas na hindi pinag-uusapan eh. Getting stronger takes time. Iba-iba tayo, magkakaiba tayo ng genetics, ng athletic capabilities, athletic history, tsaka yung leverages ng ating mga katawan. Also, some of us started younger, some of us started later in life. Tsaka magkaiba yung schedules natin, tsaka yung mga ginagamit natin na methods to get stronger. So train at your own pace and stop comparing yourself to other people. It will take time and it will also depend on how much effort you put in training. So apply yourselves. Tapos sigurado ako, karamihan sa atin ay hindi kayang mag-gym araw-araw. Hindi naman natin kailangan mag-gym araw-araw kasi kailangan din ng katawan natin mag-rest. Recovery is key to getting stronger. If you are not recovered, you will not perform well. And if you will not perform well, you will have very ineffective workout. Also, if you want to get stronger, 
you need a caloric surplus. You don't always need a caloric surplus, but most of the time, you need to eat more, to lift more, and to get bigger. So getting stronger comes hand in hand with gaining muscle, and you cannot gain muscle unless you give your body the right fuel that it needs to grow. So number four, bonus tip. Combining the three tips together, pwede nating sabihin sa isang tip lang. Run the program. So sabi ko nga sa una, our goal here is to gain strength. So make sure you're choosing a strength program, a strength-focused program. Make sure that there is progressive overload. Make sure that it utilizes a lot of compound movements. Make sure it has a scheme for rest, recovery, and it makes you eat in a caloric surplus. So be careful when you're choosing programs. Walang isang program na gumagana forever. Wala rin nag-iisang program na pwede sa lahat ng tao. Uh, another thing you need to check is the schedule. Kaya pa ng schedule nyo? Kaya pa ng time? Usually, strength training workouts can take 1 to 2 hours. Some even take 2 to 3 or even longer. I know people that train for 4 to 5 hours. <laughs> so yun, yun mga gusto natin tingnan guys. This is something I want to see more in the Philippines. People who want to get stronger and not just look buff, not just look sexy. Community. Gusto ko sana yung papasok ka sa gym. Tapos, you know, we all just want to help each other get stronger. It's not just a show for us bigger biceps and bigger chests. So that's it for this week's video. If you want to see more, comment down below what you want to see. Like and subscribe and share to your friends and stay tuned for weekly videos. I'll catch you guys next time.